Hey, God's richest blessings to you. My name is Andy Rasman, uh, continuing a series uh, on the book of Genesis. So even though it's starting Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 to 2 in this video, uh, there was an introduction to Genesis, which was who wrote Genesis. We saw that Moses wrote the book Genesis, especially according to Jewish tradition. And then Jesus seems to indicate that too in his words recorded in the Gospels for us. Uh, so Genesis 1, 1 to 2, it's very easy to find. It's the first page in your Bible. Actually, it's probably not. Most Bibles don't have some additional pages at the start. They don't just start off right on the first page with Genesis chapter 1. But here's the opening verses of Scripture. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. So we're going to uh, look at some points here on um, these two verses that, that we see. Uh, first, God is the... What, what do we hear about God um, from these first two verses? We see that God is the creator. Um, we also see in terms of creation, um, the word bara is being used here. Um, only God is the subject of bara in Scripture. So it's the Hebrew word bara. Um, people can only make in Scripture a saw. Um, there are other times in Scripture you see God having this a saw, but um, God is the only person in Hebrew Scripture to um, have this verb bara create. Um, people, they can't bara. And so, in a way that sometimes this is described as, um, you know, we can make things as people, we can make buildings. Um, we can make sculptures, we can make sandwiches, but we don't create the materials that were used for those things as God does. We'll get into that more as we continue. Um, Elohim is also the word used for God here in this passage. Um, Elohim is the plural form of God. Um, and then bara is in the singular form of the verb. So this is still showing one God um, based on the um, singular usage of the verb. Um, a lot of people tend to try to point out here Elohim being in the plural form points to the Trinity. Um, mm, I don't really like to go that route so much. Um, Elohim. Uh, I think here would be much better used to be understood to just be God the Father, because uh, you also see the Spirit of God, which is what we would point to. to so um, the the markings of the Trinity, and then with John, when you go to John's Gospel, in the beginning was God, right? I mean, in the beginning was the Word, um, and the Word was with God. So there's there's distinction there um, being made, um, I believe. Uh, so that's just something interesting to point out there. Elohim's the plural form of God, but singular form of the verb. Uh, also, we see God, and we see there was nothing. And then in the beginning, so the beginning uh, is marked, and what we see here is that everything has a beginning except God. God does not have a beginning. He is before all things, even time. Uh, we also see um, there is God and then creation from that. So there is two and not one. I'm using this language from Dr. Peter Jones with Truth Exchange. Um, there is two and not one. Um, God is distinct from creation, so he is not creation. If God was creation, you would just have one. Um, or if you go the atheist route, uh, you just have nature, and everything nature is one. There is not God, so not two within atheism. There's just materialism. Um, but from these opening verses, we see there is God, and then there is creation. Uh, concerning this creation... Um, we have Hebrews 11, 3, um, out of nothing, uh, through faith, we understand that the worlds were formed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So God created the world 
when we go beyond scripture we see this was out of nothing it was spoken into existence by the word of god uh, john's gospel makes this very clear too so he created the heavens and earth he didn't create them out of material things he created them out of his spoken word out of nothing he called them into existence from which did not exist so this is also where we um uh can clearly show he made out of nothing and god was before all things before he created um then we have the order of creation how was the earth in verses one and two here the earth was formless and void it did not have form to it it was void without shape and then what was over the face of the deep it was darkness all right and then the spirit of god hovered over uh, the waters and so what we're about to move into seeing as we continue through genesis um, is the days of creation all right so it's uh the first day light and darkness well light's first created and then light and darkness is separated then you got the second day water and sky are separated then you got the third day land and water are separated and then on the parallel side the way i've laid it out here um you see the fourth day more order is given to that of what was created on the first day light and darkness we see the celestial bodies put in place sun moon and stars and then second day water and sky separate in the fifth day the parallel day here you see life is put into the waters in the sky and then the third day with the land and water separate the sixth day you see land animals created and you see adam and eve now of course there are angels we get that in uh, other parts of scripture we begin to see angels and so they're not we're not told on what days they're created in days one through six but as we continue to read through uh the book of genesis uh chapter one we will we will see that um at the end of day six everything is very good and uh we'll dig into that a lot more um these orders too and questions that arise um with these six days in the next video in this series uh the lord be with you god's peace